welcome to the session in this session i am going to talk about uh, construction and working of uh, hydrogen oxygen fuel cell and uh, propane oxygen fuel cell hydrogen oxygen fuel cell among the fuel cells hydrogen oxygen fuel cell is the simplest one and also the most successful fuel cell coming to the construction of uh, hydrogen oxygen fuel cell it consists of uh, inert porous graphite electrode thoroughly mixed with the finely divided platinum or 3 to 1 ratio of uh, alloy of palladium with the silver or palladium with the nickel so this electrode acts as the anode the same electrode is used as the cathode so composition of both electrodes is same the composition is it is made with uh, graphite containing pores and uh, catalyst is used that is uh, platinum finely divided platinum is mixed with the graphite graphite electrode uh, containing pores or uh, in place of platinum we can use 3 to 1 ratio of uh, alloy 3 to 1 alloy of uh, palladium and silver or palladium and nickel so that can also be used as the catalyst in both electrodes so the both electrodes composition is same but uh, uh, we can we can uh, recognize the electrode as anode or cathode depending upon the depending upon the fuel or uh, oxidizing agent which is passed through the electrode if you are passing hydrogen through an electrode that electrode acts as the anode if we pass uh, oxygen through the electrode that will act as the cathode so you can see in the picture so this is anode hydrogen is passed through this electrode anode uh, negative electrode and this is uh, cathode as through this electrode oxygen is passed so hydrogen gas is passed through this inlet and we have an outlet through this outlet unreactive hydrogen gas will come out and the product water molecules uh, i mean in the form of water vapor will also come out here through this outlet and this is the inlet for oxygen at the cathode and this is the outlet for oxygen unreactive oxygen and we have electrolyte here electrolyte is a koh solution 25% a koh solution is used as the electrolyte so both electrodes are connected through through a wire and here we have applied a load also a bulb okay so this is the construction of hydrogen oxygen fuel cell here hydrogen acts as the fuel and oxygen acts as the oxidizing agent we can represent this hydrogen oxygen fuel cell as hydrogen gas carbon which is graphite then platinum we have double vertical line uh, indicating the separation of uh, electrode and the electrolyte electrolyte is 25% koh solution and double vertical line again indicating the separation of the electrolyte with the cathode that is carbon platinum and oxygen gas so this this is the representation of uh, hydrogen oxygen fuel cell and uh, coming to the chemical reactions occurring it occurring at the respective electrodes at the anode we are passing hydrogen it undergoes oxidation the reaction is 2h2 plus 4oh minus gives us to 4h2o plus 4 electrons so 2h2 hydrogen gas we are passing 4oh minus so these oh minus ions they come from the electrolyte they are consumed from the electrolyte and forming four water molecules and four electrons the electrons are produced here at the anode they will flow through the load applied and they will reach the cathode so at the cathode reduction reaction occurs at the cathode we are passing oxygen oxygen plus two water molecules plus four electrons gives rise to 4oh minus so two water molecules so four water molecules are produced at the anode from those four water molecules two water molecules are consumed at the cathode and also four electrons which have come all the way from the anode to the cathode they are consumed at the cathode so this is reduction reaction forming four oh minus ions see at the anode four hydroxyl ions are consumed from the electrolyte at the cathode four hydroxyl ions are produced at the cathode so no consumption of electrolyte here now we can we can write the overall reaction as 2h2 plus o2 gives rise to 2h2o hydrogen and oxygen are the gases and uh, water molecules are formed at the 
formed at the anode okay so this is about the working of uh, hydrogen oxygen fuel cell and the standard emf produced by the hydrogen oxygen fuel cell is 1.23 volts but in actual practice we get only 0.8 to 1 volt there are many factors uh, of, which lead to the decrease of uh, uh, emf produced by the hydrogen oxygen fuel cell hydrogen oxygen fuel cell is an attractive power source compared to gasoline powered engines the reason is that hydrogen oxygen fuel cells are pollution free as they produce only water and also they have the capacity to convert 75% of available energy into useful work whereas gasoline powered engines they convert only 25 to 30% of available energy into useful work so because of these two reasons hydrogen oxygen fuel cells are preferred to gasoline powered engines next advantages and applications of hydrogen oxygen fuel cell hydrogen oxygen fuel cells are light in weight they are pollution free because of these two reasons these are extensively used in space vehicles like apollo space craft uh, in submarines in military vehicles also these are used and uh, uh, one important advantage of uh, hydrogen oxygen fuel cell is when hydrogen oxygen fuel cells are used by astronauts uh they will be getting drinking water so the water molecules which are produced in the hydrogen oxygen fuel cell they are used as a drinking water by the astronauts so these are the advantages and applications of hydrogen oxygen fuel cell next disadvantages of uh, hydrogen oxygen fuel cell are cost of the hydrogen oxygen fuel cell is high then that is one uh, disadvantage next one is uh, storage of a highly flammable hydrogen is problematic hydrogen is a gas so its storage is uh, normally uh, difficult and also it is highly flammable so it is uh, highly problematic to store the uh, flammable hydrogen gas and another disadvantage is uh, lifetime of the hydrogen oxygen fuel cell is uh, not accurately known so this is about the hydrogen oxygen fuel cell construction working applications advantages and disadvantages propane oxygen fuel cell it is available in two forms one is dpfc direct propane fuel cell another one is micro propane fuel cell so dpfc construction consists of five layers two bipolar plates two catalyst layers and one membrane layer you can see in the picture so this is a, a anode bipolar plate one layer this is cathode bipolar plate second layer and we have two uh, catalyst layers this is anode catalyst layer and this is another cathode catalyst layer and then in the middle we have the membrane layer so total five layers are present in the direct propane fuel cell and uh, two bipolar plates so two bipolar plates they contain uh, feed channels feed channels are of two types one is a red in color uh, red colored type and the blue colored types so red colored ones they are inlets and blue colored ones they are the outlets okay so reactants at the anode are propane and water they are fed through the red color channel this is red color channel through this one propane and water mixture will be passed uh, and uh, products products are carbon dioxide unreactive water unreactive propane they will be removed or eliminated through the outlet uh, which are in blue color so this is the outlet uh, from this unreactive water unreactive propane and uh, product at the cathode uh, product at the anode co2 will be removed and uh, the same is the case with the cathode bipolar plate so we have two types of channels here red color ones and the blue colored ones red color ones are the inlets for uh, uh, passing air uh for passing air and blue colored ones are the outlets for uh, removing the or excluding the unreactive water and unreactive air so this is about the construction of uh, direct to propane fuel cell next uh, we'll we'll discuss the chemical reactions occurring at the respective electrodes at the anode oxidation reaction occurs 
we are passing the propane and water mixture c3 h8 plus 6 h2 o gives h2 3 co2 plus 20 h plus plus 20 electrons so so through the red colored inlets at the anode we are passing propane and water mixture so they undergo oxidation producing carbon dioxide 3 co2 plus 20 protons and 20 electrons so 20 protons which are produced at the anode they will flow through the membrane layer and they will reach the cathode so protons path is different electrons path is different protons will pass through the membrane layer electrons 20 electrons which are passed they will flow through the load applied okay this is a wire uh, uh, which is connecting the anode and cathode through this wire 20 electrons will pass from anode and they will reach the cathode okay so two different paths for protons and electrons so both 20 protons and electron 20 electrons they will reach the cathode in different ways and at the cathode reduction occurs we are passing air through the inlets present in the cathode bipolar plate so through this inlet we are passing air air contains oxygen so the reaction is 5O2 plus 20H plus plus 20 electrons gives H2 10H2O 10 water molecules are produced at the at the cathode so the products uh, unreactive air and uh, water water molecules they will be removed through the outlet which is blue in color uh, in the cathode bipolar plate so here okay so the overall reaction is c3h8 plus 5o2 gives rise to 3co2 plus 4h2o so uh, here oxygen is reduced oxygen is reduced by the propane forming carbon dioxide and water molecules okay and we will be getting power here so this is the working of uh, propane oxygen fuel cell advantages and disadvantages of uh, propane oxygen fuel cells so propane has uh, high energy density even compared to uh, other uh, other fuels so this is one advantage and this can be used propane can be successfully used in miniature devices like uh, micro fuel cells okay so propane is suitable for uh, micro fuel cells the, this is one advantage and the disadvantage of uh, dpfc direct propane fuel cell is uh, power produced uh, by dpfc is generally small very small the reason is that the, the chemical reactions occurring at the anode i mean oxidation reactions occurring at the anode of dpfc they are very slow this is the major disadvantage of dpfc direct propane fuel cell and uh, fuel and oxygen mixture generally in uh, uh, micro fuel cell micro fuel cell fuel oxygen mixture that is partially oxidized in an exothermic reaction uh, and creating a uh, high temperature producing a uh, uh, high temperature of 500 to uh, 600 degree centigrade temperature so this is uh, uh, another disadvantage we have in the micro fuel cell propane micro fuel cell these are the advantages and disadvantages of uh, propane oxygen fuel cell and applications of uh, propane oxygen fuel cell are these are widely used in medical devices, laptops, computers, cameras, and MP3 players. So, for MP3 players, we use uh, uh, micro fuel cell, propane uh, micro fuel cells. They are extensively used in, especially in MP3 players. So, this is about the construction, working, applications of uh, propane oxygen fuel cell. Thank you.